John Gray with a chance to hurl a good game today. Gray looking to find that groove so far. He has not been in one. He's been walking too many guys. He's got six walks already this season in his first two starts. The one two pitch. Got him looking. Backdoor slider. And down goes Abraham Toro to uh, get the ball game started. And here's the pitch. He struck him out looking fastball at 94. So he gets a call third strike on a slider. Now gets one on a fastball. Hitting the corners early on here, both the glove side and arm side. And he got him swinging. John Gray strikes out the side in the first. And we're going to the bottom of the first. JP Sears ready for his third start of the young season. Simeon at 313 to begin the year, and he's walked a ton as well. And he takes ball four. That'll be his ninth walk already this year. Simeon running, a swing and a miss. First strike, throw to second, not in time. And Marcus Simeon with his first stolen base of the year. Marcus with a really good jump over there at first base. He picked a good pitch. This is an off-speed breaking ball. Gets that right foot on the bag. Sears readies, holds for an extra moment, now delivers. A swing and a miss. Got him on the sweeper away, and Seeger is out number one. The pitch swung on towards left field, and... Seth Brown has it with one step on the warning track. Of course, Marcus Simeon's going to take the opportunity to move up 90 feet. One two pitch. Swing and a miss. Challenge it with a fastball. Got to buy him upstairs. At 93, Garcia is gone, and so are the Rangers in the first. Here's Seth Brown, the left handed hitting first baseman. And that ball's hit hard towards right field, and if it stays fair, it's gone. It is. Home run one of the season for Seth Brown. A much needed hit and the lead early in the game. One nothing A's. Absolutely crushed down the right field side. A great feeling for Brown. A power source the A's are hoping to see more of. It's the sixth consecutive game the A's have connected with a long ball. And the payoff on the way to the DH and he swings and misses the slider down low. That's his fourth strikeout today. Yeah, this slider has been his best pitch so far. Nice and tight, short. Nota swings right over the top of that pitch as it comes down and in. Rangers are trailing one to nothing. We've got two men out here in the bottom half of the second. The one two. On the inside corner, strike three call. Got him on a changeup. Three punch out. On to the third, one nothing Oakland. One away in the top half of the third. That will bring up the catcher, Kyle McCann. McCann, he's still buying for his first hit. The right-hander delivers in the pitch. That swung on, banged into left center for a base hit, and there it is. Taking the turn, holding there. There's the first big league hit for Kyle McCann. What a thrill. They're going to get the baseball for Kyle. He didn't waste any time. He got a good pitch to hit. And he handled it. And here is Abraham Toro, the third baseman, and delivers. Here's the pitch. That swung on, hit into left field for a base hit. Hugging the line was Langford, goes to get it quick. They're holding at second base, McCann. Good piece hitting by Toro. So that's his fourth hit of the series. And the A's now runners on first and second, one out for Zach Gelov. It's a 2 2. And a swing and a miss. Another strikeout for Gray. And a timely one at that. Yeah, the first fastball that John Gray threw to him in that sequence. Goes at 95 mile an hour fastball. And he gets strike three on Geloff. For Oakland, a long frame, but it bears no fruit. Two hits, two men are left. Two and a half complete. 2-2 two -two pitch. Slider got him looking. Great pitch from Sears. He picks up strikeout number four. A 1-2-3 third inning for JP. He's now retired 9 of 10. We're through three completers. One away. The 0-2 from Gray. Swing and a miss. He struck him out on a slider, and that's a half a dozen punch outs for Jonathan Charles Gray today. Here's that good slider again. Just locating it perfectly on that outside corner down at the bottom of the strike zone. This is 2-1. And a bouncer by the mound, up the middle. Seager way to his left has it. Throws to first in time to get Noda. That's a tremendous play by Corey Seager, fielding that ball in short right center field and whirling around to throw out Ryan Noda. one nothing. the A's lead it as we go to the fifth. He needs a, a big pitch right here, and he strikes out her name. One away. Another good slider by John Gray. He gets Hernays to chase right here. This pitch is off the plate. And Hernays just kind of waves at this one. So that's seven strikeouts now for Gray. The 2 2 on the way. No, it's down. And a swing and a miss by McCann. Back to back strikeouts in the fifth inning. And again, John Gray goes to the slider. A great location right there. Down and in as McCann just swings right over the top of it. The 1 2. And he struck him out. What a way to finish it. Strikes out the side in the fifth. Nine punch outs for John Gray. 
Ray. J.P. Sears with a no hitter through five innings. Two men down here in the last half of the sixth for Corey Seager. One two a swing and a miss and J.P. Sears with his fourth strikeout after six innings looking pretty good. Here we go to the uh, top half of the seventh the inning of a one nothing ball game. Jacob Latt starts his second inning in relief of John Gray. And Latz strikes him out again. That's just a great changeup right there from Latz. Really moving the ball all around the strike zone. But you see that ball coming off the fingertips with that good rotation fading away from Nevin as he gets off balance and swings over the top. And here's a swing and a miss. Noda can't connect with the Latz fastball and he strikes out. That's three consecutive strikeouts now. For Jacob Latz. Well, this time Latz goes after him with the fastball. This one just kind of rides right at the top of the strike zone after seeing some good sliders from Latz. He's able to sneak that fastball right past the batter, Noda. The 0 2. Got him swinging. It took him 10 pitches. Nearly immaculate for Jacob Latz. Latz strikes out the side here in the seventh. JP Sears, six no hit innings as we go to the bottom of the seventh. Wyatt Langford will be the hitter. That's on the ground. Toro across to Nevin. He stretches out in the out. Langford could fly, and he made that a close play. Got him by less than a half a step. And there is one away for Adolis Garcia. And the 0 2 pitch. That swung on line. Dry base hit left field. That's the first hit of the game for the Rangers. So Garcia with one out in the seventh inning picks up the single. You can hear the crowd as they broke up the no hitter from J.P. Sears. And here comes Mark Kotze. He's going to go get the left hander with Jonah Heim coming up. A fantastic, sparkling, superb outing by the southpaw, J.P. Sears. Austin Adams takes over here for Sears. 2 1. Whoa, way in. And that got Jonah on the foot. Look out. He'll head to first. The 2 2 pitch that swung on and popped up. Coming in for it is Geloff, and he can't make the play. But throw to third. They get the force out. They go to second base, and the inning is over. They end up getting a double play out of it. So Geloff dropped it most likely on purpose. He fired the third, then they fired the second. Brilliant play. I thought the infield fly rule was going to be called there, but I don't think it was called. The A's lead 1 0 as we go to the bottom of the ninth. Mason Miller's fifth. Appearance out of the bullpen. He threw 16 pitches getting the save on Tuesday. And now he faces Marcus Simeon to start the bottom of the ninth inning. Swing and a miss. A power slider down and away. Three straight breakers get Simeon, and that is out number one. Lingleers ready for it. And guess who wasn't? 103 gets Corey Seeger striking out. A four strikeout day for Corey Seeger. In the land of oil, they're getting a taste of pure octane from Mason Miller. That is petrol. And now one out away from winning the series. He turns, offers, slider popped up. Should end it. Right side of the infield. Zach Geloff on the dirt will squeeze it. And the A's take two out of three in Arlington against the defending world champions. A one nothing victory. A home run for Seth Brown. Six no hit innings for J.P. Sears. And Major League save number two for Mason Miller.